Well, hello there, folks. This is Paw Paw G, your compost gardening CEO. It's back with another. What else? But a compost gardening video. What do you know? I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High and asking him to bless my hands, bless my mind, and bless my body to be able to think right, to be able to remember him and all that I do, because he's the first and the last and the everything to me and hey to the world whether you like it or not that's what he is i hope you like it hope you love it i love it <laughs> that's the only way to go now it's time for the intro when i was a schoolboy coming home from school Throw that sobo raining around the hills and mount. Stay the hoop, stay the hoop, stay the hollowing around the merry streets. With a ring, tang, tang, and a ting, 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 and a through the way, bow, wow, wow, and a moo, 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 and a heap of keep it that I do know. And through the way we'd run, play ball, and through the way we would run. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for dropping in to see Papa G again. Getting ready to unload this truck, guys. Uh, went to Home Depot this morning. And uh, after going to the gym, <laughs> this is that was extra curricular after my job of going to the gym, guys. And so, I went to the gym went to the gym and then I immediately went to Home Depot and was able to get some more cypress guys some more cypress mulch that's right some more cypress mulch guys I'm doing very well with this cypress mulch and also what I'm gonna do what I'm about to do right now is go ahead and put some water on the plants guys we haven't had rain in, in, in quite some time. And so it's kind of cloudy now as though it might rain, but I'm not gonna, gonna wait on it, guys. I'm not gonna wait on it. I'm going to go ahead and put some water on these plants. That's, that's one there that didn't come out right, <laughs> which is a vegetable plant. I mean, a, a, a lettuce. And this is a collard, collard green, guys. Put some water on it, on these collard greens. Why not, guys? You gotta keep them going and growing and showing. More food for Papa G. Yes, indeed, guys. Get in my belly, collards. Get in my belly. <laughs> they say, not yet, Popo G. We're not through growing yet. <laughs> hey, if need be, though, guys. Hey, if need be, we could pull some leaves off these, right? They're growing. We could pull some leaves off these things, off these guys. Because, hey, with the way the world is going, guys, there's, there's things going on in this world that uh, are kind of, can be kind of, frightening but they are things that was prophesied to be you're prophesied to have to be guys to be going on that's why I, I live in a repentant state of mind guys always in a repentant state of mind because I want to be ready when the Most High shows up for me, 
Popo G, I want to be ready. How about you? And so anyway, uh, that's what we're doing today. I'm getting ready to unload this truck. But uh, hey, as you know, Papa G like to take down more than one bird with one stone, right guys? And more than one bird with one stone. And so, that's what I'm doing. Watering the plants, making sure they get some water on them in case those clouds don't pan out to any rain. Just in case, guys. It's a little bright over that way. But, uh, hey, two birds, more than one bird, guys, with one stone. That's Papa G's way. That's my way, guys. That's the way I, I do things. When I was working, <laughs> the job for the other people, I work for myself now. Uh, when I go to the gym, I'm going to hit the, hit the clock at the gym in the mornings now. Instead of hitting the clock to help the owners of the businesses I was working at make millions and millions of, on top of millions of dollars. Wow, you know, I just took a little home. But I'm thankful though, because it, it was enough. I'm still here. I'm still going, guys. It was enough, huh? <laughs> right? Hey, so look on the bright side. I'm looking on the bright side, guys. Yes, indeed. Hear the sirens. Siren going now. Yep, something's going on. Something's happening, guys. Let's see if I hear it. Honk, 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 honk. That'll mean it's a fire truck. I hadn't heard that, and so all I hear are sirens. And so there's a chance that there's something else going on somewhere. Other than fire. Sounds like it might be fire in the wrong way, huh? <laughs> oh, boy. I'm in America, guys. For you guys who might be viewing from somewhere else in the world. I'm in America. But anyway, let me put a little bit more water on these plants. I want to try to at least put a little bit on all of them and not have to go refill, <laughs> if I can help it. <laughs> uh, put a little bit on all of them. Be better than nothing, right guys? A little will be better than nothing. And so, but anyway, everything begins and ends with the most high. These are more collets over here, guys. And uh, I want to get a little bit on all of them, if I can. These are mustards here. Make sure I get a little bit on all of them. over there sounding kind of rambunctious. I don't know if he's after his dog or what, but... <laughs> but anyway, guys, yeah, I want to put a few drops on, a few drops at least on all of them. Because... Hey, that about does it. That about does it, guys. But anyway, I'm going to set up this uh, pallet. I think I'm going to put these on a pallet one of those pallets there. They're not being used right now for growing cucumbers or, or for make a homemade trellis to grow cu cucumbers or anything like that. And so I'm going to set one up to uh, put the mulch on. So when I get ready to use it, which it won't be, it won't be too long guys. It'll probably be tomorrow. Anyway, it'll probably be tomorrow when I set up to uh, 
off with the mulch. Some more mulch over here in that plot. And some more mulch over here in this plot. That's the plan, guys. Oh yeah, uh, I found mulch. I got, I got the, the, this other mulch, a cypress from uh, Fazio's. And uh, when I found some, it was about a dollar and some and down in something less at a uh, Home Depot. And so that's what I did. I went to Home Depot after I went to the gym this morning. And uh and uh put them and went and got went and got ten bags guys, ten bags of mulch. I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do. He barks, or it barks. I don't know whether it's a male or, male or female. But I'm doing, I'm just gonna stack stack this mulch on this pallet right now. And uh, a bark is barking at the little at the little uh, guy on a on an electric little electric car. <laughs> Walking at the wheels, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Barker. I'm glad Barker Box though, because he's a neighbor, neighbor dog, neighbor. Like Mono Swanson even said on that on that commercial, neighbor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Thousands and thousands of bags. Thousands and thousands of bags. Working when I was working, you know, at this plant, at the chemical plant, you know, I had a job of I had the job of stacking the bags on the pallets when they when they uh, fill the bags up off the, ma the machines out of the hopper. <laughs> but, uh, This is reminding me that I would stack thousands and thousands of bags. And I'm remembering now how I used to stack them. I would stack 50 pound bags, guys, 50 pounds. One. One after the other. They wasn't this no, they wasn't this this long, but they were fifty pounds. Fifty pound bag. I'm just gonna stack them. Four. I used to be able to, I, I would stack them, would be three, going going horizontally that way, and uh, two on the ends. But these bags are so much longer, I can't, I ain't, ain't going to worry about it. As long as they off the ground, yeah. As long as they are off the ground, we're not going to worry about it. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by with me today. Barker, y'all hear Barker? Bob oh, Barker. Barker. I'm 
glad I bought the box though, because that'll give me warning. As well. Off the ground, guys. I might, uh, I might go back and get, get ten more bags, guys, because we saw what happened. If you saw, see my video, the one that says this is what happens to a compost garden when you when you run out of com decomposing material <laughs> uh, and that's where that's where the uh that's where these uh pallets came from that i was using as a trellis over there in this, in this compost garden over here this plot over here you know as you can see we got the uh soaker holes going I got the soaker holes going in case we don't get too much rain. Just in case we don't get too much rain. Let's see, I wonder if I got it up high enough. I may not have it turned up enough. We can walk around here and and uh, turn it up a little more. Turn it up another notch. Bam, bam. Let me be quiet for Barker. Barker comes in after me. <laughs> uh, <you know. laughs> That's what we're doing today, guys. Y'all see these? Y'all see this? This uh, these big sycamore tree leaves falling? They falling, guys. Some of you might say, "Well, he ain't, he's not, he's not raking his yard, or he's not uh, cutting his grass, cutting his yard." Hey, it's that time of the year, guys. I'm gonna let nature run its course. I'm gonna let nature run its course. I believe that's, that'll be up high enough there. We'll put some water down. But yeah, look at these leaves falling, falling, guys. We're in, uh, what, October now? And so, it's that time of the year, guys, where all those big sycamore tree leaves are falling, guys. They're falling in Papa G's yard. Well, I'm gonna mulch them up. I'm gonna let them all fall. This fall, <laughs> let them all fall, and then uh, I'm gonna mulch them up and uh, on the and put them on the compost mound over there. I got a plan, guys. <laughs> I got a plan, and uh, put them on the compost mound so that uh, I can use it in the compost garden. As you can see, we got a few pods of of uh, okra. A few pods of okra coming out. I think I'll cut, cut them and take them inside. Save Granny Dita the trouble. <laughs> Since I'm already out here. <sighs> well, yeah, guys. Uh, that's what we're doing. I just want to turn the camera on and let you guys see me un unload the truck. After uh, Home Depot beat Fazio's price. <laughs> I Google it. I Google it. I Google it, guys. And uh, figured out that Home Depot had a better price for the mulch. So anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by with Home OG today. Even if it's for a few, few minutes, you got to see me do some things in the compost garden. And uh, which for you new viewers, 
This is the famous compost garden. Yes, indeed, guys. Where everything you see on the garden floor is going back to soil. Don't you know? To grow my food. Grow my food, guys, for Papa G. These are Brussels sprouts here. For Papa G, because you guys know, or you're learning, you new viewers will learn that Papa G like to ha 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 ha. Eat, guys. E-A-T, guys. Papa G like to ha 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 ha. Eat. Yes, indeed. And these are. Uh, lettuce, this lettuce over here growing in the compost garden, guys. No teal, no teal, guys, and just a minimal, a minimal amount of digging. That's right, a minimum amount of digging, but no teal, guys. I've lost the thrill to grab a teal and tea. Grab a tiller and tear. I have lost that thrill. I've lost the thrill to grab a tiller and tear. To grab a tiller and tear. I have lost that thrill. That's right, guys. These are cabbages back here. Cabbages. We got greens, guys. We got vegetables growing. <laughs> In this compost garden, guys. If you are... Uh, oh, yeah. And by the way, guys, I'm 68. 68 years old, guys. And uh, if you are of age or whatever, and or even young people, and you want to grow some food in your backyard hey have at it guys get you some decomposing material yeah, i recommend cypress now guys <laughs> uh, yeah i'm gonna come out here tomorrow and uh it's in the afternoon now so i'm coming out here tomorrow and uh put some more mulch down guys i'm gonna use some of that mulch i just bought today at Home Depot. It was Fazio versus Home Depot. Fazio's a nursery around here, guys. Up on Highway 53, if you're here in Gulfport, Mississippi. That's where I am, in Gulfport, Mississippi, guys. And uh, Fazio's is on Highway 53 for you guys who are around here in Gulfport. And you might watch this video. But anyway, guys, I want you to know, before I do the outro, I just want to thank and praise the Most High once again. Because everything began, everything began and will end with the Most High. Guys, so I want to just give him all the praise and all the honor and the glory for helping me to not to have to teal anymore for one thing guys and to be victorious in life and in living thank you most high elohim yahuwah alua thank you outro when i was a school boy coming home from school all that sorrow raining around the hills and mountains Steady hoop, steady hoop, steady hollowing around the merry streets. With a rang tang tang and a ting 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 and a through the way bow wow wow and a moo 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 and a heap of people that I do know. And through the way we run play ball and through the way we would run. Yes, guys, I recommend Cyprus now. Cyprus. Thank you, Most High Elohim. And thank you guys for watching. Papa G, again.